Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my Teddy Beeswax order and see if I can get it to focus this time. I don't know what's going on with it, guys. Honestly, I'm filming with my iPhone. I legit don't know why. I mean, I'm sure you can kind of see it. Anyway, it's just all her information. I will do my best to link what I remember to link in the description below. Um, if I can link her group, I'll link her group, or at the very least, I will be linking her website. Um, Teddy had, or Tiffany rather, who owns Teddy Beeswax, had a sale. Um, it was $10 off of 40 the last restock, and all of her scent shots, by the way, you buy four, you get the fifth one free with the code free shot. And she's based in Houston, Texas. And she has a flat rate shipping of $8, which I personally love flat rate shipping, especially since she's I'm from Texas, so I don't really like paying shipping, you know, when someone else is in Texas, so it really does just help out um, when they do have flat rate shipping. So I'm going to go ahead and get right on into my order with my samples. The first one of the three I got is Fancy Cakes, Strawberry, Sugar Cane, Tonka, and Brown Sugar. This one just smells like a, like a gourmand strawberry body care to me it's almost like a fresh picked strawberry oil and I do get like that lush almost like tonka brown sugar kind of vibe I don't love it and I don't hate it on cold um, but I do it for melting it seaside siesta which is creamy coconut golden sands and lavender oh and I forgot to mention she has recently changed up her formula actually in the, to survive the hotter temperatures just a fun fact so siesta, uh, siesta seaside siesta is it's beautiful. I smelling this, I'm transported back to going to Port Aransas as a kid and to get all the sand off me using some lavender scented baby powder. Really weird, right? To get all the sand off and just smelling the way my skin smelled at the beach. It I I, I really do love that one. Um and last week we have off the strip, which is berry sorbet, light coconut, soothing sandalwood, and warm musk. Now this one, I'm, I do like it. It reminds me of like a berry body care they have. It's a very warm, inviting, beachy body care. And it does kind of give me like coconut sandalwood vibes, like Bath and Body Works candle, but less perfume. And that berry is just, it's beautiful. So. I do really enjoy that on cold. Now getting on into my order, as you can see I kind of have to back up to get the full thing in. So I'm just going to be going um, in order of like what I have. Let me get these ready because I wrote down all the scent notes again. So I purchased three banana spice. This one is vanilla pound cake, banana caramel cinnamon, and vanilla frosting. This one is just beautiful. Gorgeous banana bakery cinnamon gourmand heaven. Next one is the only bag I purchased, and it is blackberry butter pecan cookies, butter pecan waffles, blackberry jam butter cookies. This one is beautiful. I got this in a sample in my first order, so I'm glad to be able to have that in a bag. Next here we have Christmas trees and cream. This one is fresh pine vanilla waffle cone and rich vanilla buttercream. This one, if you like. Bath and Byers Vanilla Balsam, you'll be head over heels in love with this one. Instead of fresh balsam where it's like really stringent pine, this is very sweet, almost sappy without being like earthy or bark like. <coughs> Pardon me. This one, I do actually pick up that bakery waffle cone note with like, it smells like, like a buttery, creamy vanilla cookie with rich dense frosting on it it's freaking beautiful I think burning vanilla balsam while melting this would be a gorgeous combo I still do like vanilla balsam just a tinge better but this is right behind it one of her new scents that she did for this restock is cotton and cashmere light airy cotton vanilla orchid patchouli flowers oud cashmere woods and crystal amber now this one you do get that cotton without it's, it is very light on the laundry fresh cotton vibe and you do pick up quite a bit and vanilla orchid is one of my favorite oils and wax you don't really get too much you know, I don't really get any patchouli I do pick up like a warmness that I could probably give to the amber 
It's just beautiful. It's a very beautiful scent. I'm glad to have that one. This one might just make it in my top five favorites from um, Teddy Beeswax. This is Cottontail's Juicy Hawaiian Punch Lavender and Laundry. I don't even need to spell this one because I vividly remember my first sniff impressions on it. It smells like high C fruit punch with a hint of sweet lavender specifically. And I'm not getting too much laundry, but I do kind of pick it up in the background. Way, way, way in the background. Like 10% or less kind of percent is what I'm talking about. Cute as a button. Now this one is Peonies, Daisies, Dogwood, Pink Kiwi, Neroli, and Pink Sugar. Pink Sugar is the first note you get when you smell this one on cold. Followed by that beautiful... I don't know. It is definitely peony. It's not rose. It's not any other floral really but peony. And I'm not really getting any other thing than peony and pink sugar. But I'm not complaining because I love both of those scent notes. And I am really glad to have this one to try now. Dreamweaver is also one of the newer scents I believe that she included. Flannel sheets, soft lavender, hint of vanilla, and peppermint. I'm not a fan of this one, guys. On cold at least. It smells like... It really does smell not like fabuloso lavender, but it is definitely not sweet lavender. It's not powdery. It's not herbal. It's definitely one of those like cleaning, or not cleaning, but like a air freshener lavenders. You know what I mean? It's a very specific smell, like a fabric softener lavender. Not cleaner, but like fabric softener, very synthetic lavender. Um, with flannel sheets, I've never smelled flannel sheets before, but from Sasha, I understand that there's a few different kinds of flannel sheets oil. It, it smells nice. The flannel sheets part of it, I just do not like the lavender oil used in this, but I will still give it a try. In worst case scenario, I do have a friend in mind that I might send that to, depending on how I feel about it once warmed. Next we have Fall Brulee, which is pumpkin, cinnamon, and spices, French vanilla, maple, marshmallows, caramelized sugar, and cake batter. I don't get any bakery, so I don't get cake batter. First and foremost is that heavy, punchy in the nose clove. Followed by a mix of spices and very, not sticky sweet, like not really getting much caramel, more than I am getting maple. And there is like a very soft vanilla in there. Um, it's okay, but for me it is still very heavy on that clove note. Um, I like clove, I just don't like it as the star of the show for me personally. Next I bought three which is another sample I got in one of my last, my last, or my first order rather. It's it's five o'clock somewhere. Frozen lime margarita, champagne bubbles, and sweet lime. This one is, oh gosh, this one. I'm not really getting much of like a fizzy, like fizzy pop, but I can kind of see how there might be like a slight champagne, like effervescence to this on cold. Not as much on warm. I do remember warming this in that lime like a salty, slightly sweet lime juice. I don't know. It's very beautiful. I do definitely want to try blending this with other things, but I do look forward to melting that solo as well because this is one of my favorites for my first order. Moving on, we have probably my favorite and definitely a household favorite of my, ours is Lavender Honeydew, which is... Um, Lavender, vanilla, coconut milk, honeydew melons, and fresh linen. There is no linen in this, to my nose at least. Not really getting coconut milk. It's very spa, relaxing lavender. And that honeydew melon is its so fresh and sweet. It's, it's a gorgeous combo. I love those two together. I purchased two lavender orange sherbet. Fresh orange sherbet, lavender, vanilla, and marshmallows. This one like fresh squeezed orange juice and rind. It's like squeezing out orange juice and like you're rubbing the rind on your hands and you're getting the juice on your hands both. And just this gorgeous lavender in the background. So there's that. This one is also probably gonna bust its way in my top five. Strawberry lavender pound cake. Golden pound cake, sweet lavender, strawberry buttercream and marshmallow whip. This is most certainly a sweet lavender. And that strawberry, it doesn't smell more like strawberry butter, it just, it just smells like strawberry cake more than strawberry buttercream plus pound cake. 
I will agree, it is more of a dense bakery, so pound cakes tend to be more dense than like cupcakes, and especially more than cake powder. It, it's such a beautiful scent. I, I highly recommend this. And uh, Kathy, if you're watching this one, we, I know we were talking about on the phone earlier, get this one. It's not super heavy on the lather, so I don't know how much you're going to like it. And the strawberry, it's not too strawberry where I feel like you wouldn't like it, because I know how you feel about berry. Especially, you know, strawberries. But I do think you would like that one a lot. Next, we have Sugar and Spice, which is, I believe is a new one. I could be wrong on this one, though. Cinnamon Sugar, Vanilla Bean, Buttery Baked Dough. To be honest, I, I won't smell this one again because I do like what I can smell of this one on cold. I just smell more of the container. It's very light for me on cold. Um, from what I did smell, it was very heavy on that like bakery cinnamon, not red hot, but definitely like a fresh ground baking cinnamon, um, and like a puff pastry almost, without it being specifically puff pastry. I don't know. It kind of reminded me of like a cinnamon sugar croissant, from what I could smell of it. But it is very light for me on cold, so I'm gonna just let that sit a little bit longer before I make up my mind on it. Teakwood Tango. This one is mahogany teakwood, the Bath and Body Works type. Vetiver dried driftwood and apple mango tango type. This <sighs> smells like fruity, fresh laundry first and foremost, like a laundry detergent. I've never smelled apple mango tango and wax before. This is my first time actually. And that mahogany teak with like Abercrombie and Fitch fierce cologne vibe is not near as heavy as I thought it would be. And I do like this combo, actually. It's just, I thought the rolls would have been reversed, but it is very nice regardless. That's Teakwood Tango. Two more left, guys, and we have Teddy Bear Biscuits. This is a new one, and it's warm beignets made with nutmeg, creamy vanilla, coated in powdered sugar, dipped in whipped cream. This one. Oh, my God, I love this one. I smell that, like, a very nice, like, creamy vanilla like glaze mixed with I do actually get quite a bit of like a nice spice it's not necessarily too heavy on cinnamon and it's most certainly not clove and that it does have a bakery note to it but it's very light like a beignet would be so I am actually very excited to try this one very nice Tiffany you really did nail that one on the head and lastly, we have Winterfell, which is Marshmallow Fireside Bath & Body Works type, which I assume it is, and it smells like the Bath & Body Works type, so I'm just going to go with it. Palo Santo, White Birch, White Birch, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. This one, I don't know, guys. I don't know. The Marshmallow Fireside is it's very gooey, marshmallow, sweet fireside. And the Palo Santo being like a sweet, warm, inviting wood, I love that part of this. But there is like a... T I don't necessarily pick up birch more than I do patchouli. And I love patchouli in blends, not so much solo. But I am picking up some patchouli kind of vibe that's kind of throwing it off. It smells good except for that one note in it. So hopefully while melting that note doesn't pop out at all and it kind of just subdues itself. So guys, that's that's my haul. Um, I really do like Teddy Beeswax. She's in my top five favorite vendors. Um, her stuff is just so good for me in my home. I'm excited to test out the new formula, see if it you know how it compares to the old one. Um, the samples were overall just amazing, especially the Seaside Siesta. I'm, I am kind of sad because I didn't get as many lavender honeydew as I was wanting. And there was a few others here that I didn't get as many as I was wanting. But her restocks are very, you know, Hunger Games. And she does everything she can in her restocks to, you know, make sure things don't sell out. But with the amazing sale she always has on her scent shots is free shot. Which for every four scent shots you buy, you get the fifth one free. So with that, on top of there being a 10 off of 40 sale, stuff was bound to sell out super quick. So it's nothing against Tiffany. And she was so sweet. She was even refunding people the differences in their stuff because you can only use one code at a time. So you use the 10 off of 40 code and then she refunds you for every other scent shot. And she was super sweet. There was a misunderstanding on my part of everything and I thought I had bought more than I really did and my math was off and she was still gracious enough to um, not refund me like what I 
thought I got, but that's a whole other thing. She did refund me for a scent shot thing. I don't even know why I'm going into all that. Just letting you know, her customer service is amazing. Um, just the way the, you know, the coupon stacked this time, I was off by one scent shot in the end, and she had just recently changed the, you know, up her coupon policy, which she does more than one. So I didn't know about it, and I don't think the group knew about it until she posted later that night. So she was so gracious enough to refund me for that one cent shot. So thank you, Tiffany. Thank you for such an awesome order. Her blending abilities are amazing, especially I mean, if the strawberry lavender you know, pound cake is anything to say about it. It's amazing. So I'm really enjoying the stuff I have. Um, I really do look forward to it melting through more of my stash. So I think that's it. Um, keep an eye out for more people hauling Teddy Beeswax. If you're not part of the group, you really should be to keep up to date. You know, when restocks happen and you know different scents are coming out and all that. So overall, I really love her wax. I've never tried the new. I haven't tried the new formula that she recently implemented. So I will be testing it out. Um, and I can't wait to see you know how it compares and seeing you know if it gets better. If it stay, hopefully it stays the same. If not, or gets better, but. I'm really excited to test different things out, and um, I'm going to stop rambling, so if you enjoyed the video, um, let me know in the comments, and if you've, have, if you've tried Teddy Beeswax, what are some of your favorite scents? Um, if you participate in the restock, what is the, if you tried any of the new scents specifically, like Cotton and Cashmere, I believe Cotton Tails was new, Strawberry Lavender Pound Cake, um, Teddy Bear Biscuits, Winterfell, like those ones, if you've tried any of the new scents from her, you know, what do you think of them? Um, I think that's all I have to say. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.